to another short and sweet where normally the sample is short and so is the review. But this time it's full sized and it's still sweet that they sent it. This was sent to us by the distillery, so that's why it's sweet. Mm -hmm. We also always disclose that when we didn't pay for a bottle, so that uh, it's two birds with one stone, right? Yeah. And we've done Elijah Craig Barrel Proof reviews in the past. Uh, this is the B522. Mm -hmm. um, so we didn't feel like it deserved its own full uncorking, because that would be like a lot of uncorking. So if Elijah Craig, right. and then you got to do Booker's Three year. and Larceny and all Four the ones year. that come out every year. Mm -hmm. So a short and sweet it is. This is 121 proof. Mm, it's just of course, how I like them. Barrel proof, uh, 12 year old H statement, still right here on the side, uh, non chill filtered. What's not to love? Heaven Hill. Here we go. Can you believe that <sighs> the price, the SRP on this is still $59.99? Now, <laughs> See, who's seen it? Raise your hand if you're seeing it for that price. Usually closer to 70 or 80, but still for a 12 year old barrel proof product, not a bad value. It's not beautiful. Not a bad value at all. It's yeah. Pretty. Nice dark color, just getting the typical rich caramel mm. vanilla uh, bourbon nose here. Nothing real. <sighs> I get a little bit of like shutting off on the flavor wheel. Freshly ground coffee in the other room. Huh. Not, not super yeah. strong, just I like those dark kind of bold, rich notes that it's giving off on the nose. A little tobacco leaf, mm. sort of. Again, in the other room. <laughs> All right, to your health. Wow, the oak is strong with this one. <laughs> the oak is strong. I like yes. it though. Yes. I, it's like that perfect, it's a sweet spot for me. Just enough to give you those like more mature flavors that, you know, a little bit more oak, a little bit of that tobacco. Mm -hmm but not too much, you know? It doesn't taste like licking firewood or something. As you often do. Nice down into the Kentucky Hug pretty immediately. Nice mm, long finish. It is. I have not gone for my second sip yet because it is still working its way and settling in. Mm -hmm. It's making a nice home for itself. I can kind of get that coffee, but like just plain black coffee. Just right, it's dark. very faint. Yeah, it's faint. It's not too much because I'm not a coffee fan. So that's why I think it's more of like cof coffee grounds, or like freshly Grouse, ground yes. coffee. Not... Which I love that smell. Yeah, that's what I mean. It, it kind of has that, if you could translate the smell into a taste, because it's a bit different than actually drinking it. There's mm -hmm. no, none of that bitterness. It's mm -hmm. just that nice roasty smell. Second sip. The mouthfeel is really nice too. Would you call it exceptional? I would not call it exceptional. I wouldn't call it exceptional, but it's a good mouthfeel. It's very pleasant. Mm -hmm. Like, especially for something this high proof, the mouthfeel is real, you know, real smooth. It's not super rich, but it's just like a little silky, a little yeah. viscous, mm -hmm. and it makes that heat, it's just easier to take it. As we're letting this second sip mm. sink in, I want to tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's ringed. Ah, this t shirt I'm wearing, t shirt Sarah's wearing. Both of the glasses that we're drinking from, also capitas and rocks glasses and water glasses and, and bottle cut candles and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite and join us for as little as one buck a month. That is where we release our exclusive barrel picks. We have several coming up uh, in the wings just waiting to be released. Also, that's where we release the opportunity to participate in barrel picks and after the episode exclusives with us. Well, I took a drink, so I feel like I need to take my third sip. <laughs> kinda, I kind of killed that long I'll get finish. on your same page almost a bitter element in there that I'm sort of not, not picking up until about this third sip here. So I think that's like extra oak. Again, maybe a little bit of that coffee note. It's really yeah. not a strong coffee note at all. It's very faint. I like it a lot. Those mm. two things in general have like a little bit of a bitterness associated with them. So that's kind of what's hanging around on the finish, but I don't mind it. Also, you know, I think it goes maybe slightly dry on the finish, mm. but not, I mean, I maybe. Leave, it's fine though. It doesn't bother me because again, I don't mind that when paired with these flavors, like right. it's kind of expected. It feels like it goes together. How about we do this, Sarah, since there's been another release this year, it was called A122. What is this? Let's <laughs> just try it against <gasps> what? it real quick. I was quick. just thinking that this was what we should do. Okay, so here's the A122. This is 120.8 proof. So these are 0.2 proof points apart. Sarah, you want to do the honors? Yes. I would, thank you. Maybe a little more desserty on this one. But not much, they smell very related. Yeah, very similar. Very similar. It's like the brown sugars turned up a little, which normally that would be, for me, like, oh, I'm gonna gravitate that way. I also think the dryness has turned up just a touch. I do think the the A has a little bit more brightness hmm, than, yeah. than the B. Um, B is definitely bolder. Maybe Yeah, maybe not as long of a finish. I'm, 
ready to go in for a second sip here of mm. the A. Maybe it's just because you're acclimated to this barrel proof stuff at this point. I mean, don't get me wrong, still a long finish, but a little lighter. Um, There's almost like a cinnamon note in there that's making it kind of pop a little. Uh huh. It does have a touch more brightness. Now let's see, we have, let's see, this one, <laughs> A on our palette. Mm. Yep, let's go back to B. I feel like we're at the eye exam. Which is better, A or B? A or B? I feel like it's a done exactly. Or B. I think mm. B's got it. I think B by a nose. B by a nose. They're both really delicious, but B just has that little extra bit of mouthfeel, which I feel like is very important between these two. B is almost like toasted. And it it has that, yeah, that extra oaky thing going on, which again, I feel like it's in bounds for me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Not too over oaked, but I really like it. Mm. And I like those big bold flavors. Um, well, now the only thing left to do is wait till C whew. comes out and then try A, B, and C and pick our best for the year and then see if it's worthy enough to go into our blind best of contention. That's of my the year. favorite time of the year, Chad. I love that. Yes. So we will see you guys then. That'll do us. Uh, hey, thanks, Heaven L, for, uh, for sending us this bottle. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon.